When did you record your first EP? 2000 to 2001, so I was uh, 19, 20 ish. And uh, what are your thoughts on it now? Uh, it's got some, it's got some alright songs on there. I mean, I still, the, I mean, the fact that I still play Poverty Knockout and I still play the Media every so often. Um, it's not, it's not a great piece of work. By but, but it was a demo. It was a demo to get gigs, so, which it did. You know, yeah. it got, that 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 CD got me. Got me on at Cambridge, got me on at Glastonbury, got me a manager. Wow, yeah. That's what it was supposed to do. Mm. You know, I, I got I got enough festivals that summer um, <clears throat> out of it and I got and I got to, to make I got to make a, a record, a proper record that was done properly. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you can call Sweet England that. But you know what I mean? It was supposed to be a thing that moved me on to the next stage, which it did. It wasn't supposed to be something that in ten years people um, <clears throat> pay 50 quid for on eBay. So that kind of freaks me out. And, yeah. and I don't, you know, and, and I've thought about reissuing it quite a lot of times, but it's just not, it's just not good enough for that. Mm. You know, I don't want to charge people money for it. So, you know, so the next thing is, well, why don't you just give it away for free? But, you know, I don't want, I don't want them to go out there, out there representing me. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't, I, mean, I don't have any qualms with people getting hold of it, but I don't want to, Put it, I don't want to hold it up as being here's my piece of work that this is what I'm about yeah because it's not it's yeah no, it, 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 it has I think part, partly the internet is, is, is maybe to blame for this but it has acquired a bit of a mystique now yeah because it people I think expect to be able to get hold of everything all well, the time. what we're doing what we're doing is uh, just partly for people to hear the songs that are worth hearing is there's a compilation that's being made mainly for over, uh, abroad, maybe for mainly, mainly for overseas, yeah. because there's a lot of countries where there's, there aren't any records of mine that have come out properly. They're av available import for extortionate amounts, and that's it. Um, so we're going to put a kind of it's not a best of because it's you know I don't I don't warrant a best of at this stage, um, but it is a kind of compilation of bits from four records, yeah. um, plus some plus some singles which have have never been on records. Plus some some tracks from my Jim Murray, so that's that's going to be coming out, and that will be that will be available in this country in kind of limited numbers. But yeah. we're probably not going to promote it, or you know, it won't be in shops or anything. It'll be mail order and iTunes, and that just in case people want to get those songs, because then they'll be able to get the Made in Poverty Knock for seventy nine p each off iTunes, and everybody's happy because that's about the value of the. Yeah. Money. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, there was talk of re-recording bits of it. Is that? Yeah, I t I, yeah, I'd rather record new. Yeah. Um, the title of the of the EP was quite interesting because that because that was obviously that's a pseudonym. Yeah. What, yeah. Why? Is that common knowledge now? <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, it, it, it became common knowledge perhaps when um, I mean Jackie Oates. I mean, is it something you'd rather not? Well, there's no. Well, the thing is, it whenever you start to talk about it, it kind of takes on more of a meaning than it really has. I mean, I. I Again, there's various things. I've been asked, oh, is that the reason you called yourself Jim Marie? That the real reason is just it felt, it felt right. I mean, I've, I've always, I mean, I, I've always been a little bit kind of, I was quite a shy child mm. and I've never been that, again, this thing about articulating stuff, I've never been, that, that, that is across the board, I've never been that good at, well, that, I've never been that good at articulating what I want to say to other people without them just getting completely baffled. Yeah. Um, music was always the thing that I did um, and you know I've, I've never been particularly into sport. When, where, where we were growing up was you know, there, you know there weren't that many kids hanging around our village. It was I spent a lot of time on my own when I was younger um, you know playing the piano, playing the guitar and just yeah. walking around the, the kind of chase or Doing stuff, so you know, so I was quite a kind of solitary person, and I felt like if I created a new person, it would be easier to do the stuff that I had to do. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, but at the same time, I was fronting a band. Um, I was fronting a you know a kind of fairly screamy, shouty. It was kind of pop, power pop band. Yeah. But power pop taken to the nth degree. So it was very very. You know, three-minute songs, very melodic, kind of Elvis Costello, The Police, yeah. Squeeze, that type of stuff, but played very, very loud and very fast and very kind of, you know, a lot more distorted than 
than mm. any of those. Um, with kind of you know limited success, but you know we we had a few we, you know we had our moments, and that was around Birmingham. I did that for about three or four years, um, on and off, and it kind of overlapped with starting this. Um, and at the time, we all had you know we all used our middle names in that band. Yeah. So I was I was calling myself Jim Murray for quite a while before I was doing folk stuff. Um, but. I don't know, it just seemed like the right thing to do. I kind of, um, I wanted to be judged on the music rather than people who knew me as well. And I felt, I almost felt like that was a, a it would have become, I mean, it goes back to that, that, the weird thing with the internet for me is that it loses that mystique and I wanted there to be a kind of, you know, if, if you invent a new name, they, there's no backstory and no one can go yeah. and do their, you know, no one can look you up and you can be whatever you want to be. Um, and I did, f at the time, I did feel the need for that. That felt like quite an important thing to me, that I was able to, to have a year zero and go, from now, it's only the things that I do from now that matter. Okay, yeah. So that, that, that was what it was about, really. Um, but that said, it's got, it's, it's turned into a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare in some ways. You know, I, I kind of wish that I'd start, I'd put records out into my own because it would be so much easier. I mean... It would be so much easier getting in and out of America for a start. Oh, right, OK. Mm. Various things, you know, um, paying checks in at the bank when, you know, the check is addressed to Jim Murray and that's not the name on my bank card. Yeah. All kinds of things that are a problem um, that I've had to work my way around. <laughs> then Tweet England came out yeah. and it was hailed as the most significant leap forward in folk music for 30 years. Um, how did you take that? Badly. Yeah. At the time, I didn't handle it very well, but um, it was just it was just stupid anyway because it it's not, you know it's a, it's a it's a good good record but it's not yeah. not all that. I mean I did I I, I I liked the vote of confidence that I would go on to do something. Mm. Um, but yeah. Um, it's just it's just words. It's just yeah. words on paper. That's, and I'm sure also, also I, I, I'm sure that's not what anybody actually thinks. You know that that there's, there is a, a kind of there is a kind of thing in folk music journalism that everything has to be the greatest thing. Everything has to be brilliant. Yeah. You know everything has to be f the the best thing that's ever happened, which just isn't. That's not. That's not how things actually are. You know. Mm. The, the reality is most things are, you know, pretty good, commendable, but, you know, hardly groundbreaking. Because, yeah. because by definition, not everything can be a, can be, the best can, be can be best, you know, yeah. not everything can be groundbreaking because mm. there's only so much ground to be broken in that, in that no, way. Absolutely. 